Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about population genetics and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you when you see two questions per one video that means that questions have to be easy not much to explain you just have to memorize the correct answer and here is the first question researchers are studying a disease that causes neurological deficits in humans they have identified the disorder as autosomal dominant, but notice that about 20% of the people with the dominant disease allele do not express any of the associated neurological impairment. What genetic terms explain this phenomenon? And here is the variance of the answer. Sex link inheritance, codominance, variable expressivity, and degeneracy of the genetic code and reduce penetrance. Not much to explain here, you just have to memorize that the correct answer, the term that explains not full penetrance would be answer E, we call it reduce penetrance. When for example, according to simple Mendelian genetics, we expect that this particular person having dominant allele, for example, have to express this genetic disorder but we see that he is phenotypically normal. Some diseases, for example, some type of cancer, if you even inherited certain allele, it's not necessary that you are going to get this uh, disease. Probably factors uh, such as environmental factors also play a role. For example, you may live in a north where you are not going to be exposed to the extensive ultraviolet and you, even if you have defective allele, is not going to develop skin cancer. But with the same genotype, if you would move to the south and you would be exposed to ultraviolet, you probably will develop skin cancer. So we can say that this is reduced penetrance. And second question, in a population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, there is a gene that has only two alleles that code for the color of the organism. Which of the following scenarios would not disrupt the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium of the population? And here is the postulates of the Hardy-Weinberg. Take a look. Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is dependent on five key conditions. First, the population is very large. Second, mutations are in equilibrium, not net mutation rate. And third, there is no migration or immigration that alter the gene pool ratios. Fourth, there is random mating. And fifth, there is no selection for the fittest organism taking place in the population. Now let's check answers starting from the end of this list. One specific color is able to survive better in the population's present environment. And we are talking about certain color of the animal which give better fitness and let's check uh, there is no selection for the fittest organism taking place in the population so this is wrong answer so we can cross out and let's check another one a massive plug destroys 80 percent of the population and this may lead also to the uh, choice of the fittest because 20 percent survived that means that they were better fit to fight this disease and of course after 20 percent of the population would survive that means that allelic frequencies would shift we have to cross this variant of the answer also variant b organisms begin to mate with partners that are of the same color as themselves and let's check his uh, variant 4 there is random mating and this breaking this assumption because uh, here we see that mating is assertive according to the color and not random so we also have to cross out this answer and now we have only one answer left all color variants in the population have separate niches which allow them to thrive equally. Niches here probably can confuse you, like organisms would be separated and that means they would be broken into the groups, but which allows them to thrive 
equally and I want to underline with double line equally. That means that they are going to be in balance. So we have to choose this answer as a correct. One more time. The question is which of the following scenarios would not disrupt the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium of the population. And of course when population would be in balance and would thrive equally, that means it's not going to break any of these assumptions. And this is going to be the only correct answer here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.